Hello. Um, on this video, I'm going to show how to solve the problem with the 414 request URI too long problem. Uh, request URI too long. The request URL's length exceeds the capacity limit for the server. What is happening here is, uh, let me get this out of the way. Uh, I'm going to simulate the problem so uh, you can understand w what is causing the problem and how and the two solutions I'm, I'm providing. Alright, so I'm using the WIMP server 2.4 for this example. I created a directory called request414 for this demonstration and inside the directory I placed a simple index.php file. Uh, I'm using Aptona to, uh, to edit the file. So the file is blank, there is nothing inside the file right now. Alright, so to simulate the problem, uh, this is the index file. So it's blank. If I try to pass, uh, let's say, image uh, an HTML variable that is too long, for example, this this is the raw data for one image, uh, a sketch image I created for this example. It's uh, four pages long. Actually, I can count it quick by uh, actually right there and review word count. It's four pages long and it has 11,500 characters in these four pages. So, but remember, this is the raw data for, for an image. I'm going to uh, copy this data. Now, Okay, <coughs> I'm setting an HTML variable uh, called image and I'm placing that data as the value for that variable. Uh, this should just print all those four pages of, uh, of this raw data because there's no organization uh, set up yet to, uh, to display the correct image. But when I hit enter I get this error message because this variable the length of this variable is too long so uh, to solve this problem I wanna say one thing first um, I'm, I'm recording this video because I was working on a project and I needed to solve this problem so I could continue the project was about uh, uh, dis displacing many uh, images into the screen and I was passing the value values the raw data of those images uh, into one page and it was becoming too long so the problem doing this what I'm about to do now uh, changing the Apache configuration file inside the WIMP server uh, the problem is that it is not recommended that uh, the server it is not recommended for the server to accept such long variable uh, it, it could cause many problems like uh, denial of service attacks and other stuff so I repeat I, I would not recommend doing it this way I'm gonna show the other way that I recommend doing this uh, okay so to solve this problem uh, I also pull up the uh, Uh, this is the um, Apache core features in the apache.org website and I'm gonna search for request line so limit request line Okay. 
to solve that problem we need to place this line inside the configuration file on the Apache server remember I got this information from the Apache core features on the apache.org site so you need to place it I either place it on the top or the bottom because uh, it's easy to detect uh, <coughs> modifications I've done to the uh, to the configuration file if I do this so if you do this it should solve the problem depending on the on the version of the Apache you have you might need to do some extra configuration so this would work again depending on the configuration uh, depending on on the version of the WIMP server of the Apache server so this would solve I'm not gonna save it this would solve this problem the length but like I said it, it is not recommended to do it this way so I'm gonna show the second way uh, we can do to solve this problem okay so the second way uh, how I, I would recommend doing it this way uh, so you don't have to change any settings in the configuration file of the Apache server so I'm back to the normal uh, regular index PHP page so I'm gonna create a regular page okay so the basic uh, basic HTML page okay so uh, what I am about to do I'm going to to uh, I'm going to create a PHP variable to hold that th those four pages of, uh, of raw image data so we can print the the image into the screen now uh, this way uh, first you don't need to touch the, the configuration on the on the Apache server and this way you can use the MySQL database to hold uh, as text uh, that long uh, four pages uh, raw data so uh, I'm not gonna show the connections to the MySQL database because uh, I'm I'm hoping that the, uh, whoever is watching this video and ran into the the 414 problem is already beyond this because you, you probably are uh, you you are you already know how to do the connections to the database and everything so I'm just gonna show how to you you, you can fetch the the data in a database and place it in a PHP variable so you can do this example okay so first thing we gonna do is place the code PHP code. I'm going to create a um, a variable called image for this example, and the value of this variable will be the um, the raw image data inside the uh, image uh, uh, PHP variable so let me get the image data again so all four pages and I'm going to create another another variable which 
is for, for uh, to make the test a little more easier to, to understand. Now, uh, I want to I could put all of this in here, but I'm just doing this to be a little uh, easier for me to explain this. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to print to this screen the uh, the test variable. So inside the test variable, we have one, two, three. So when we uh, refresh the screen, we have the one two three four variable being printed to the screen because this is the value inside the test variable now if I just try to print the image variable uh, the echo statement the image so we're gonna have one two three four and then all this data being printed to this screen so uh, again this is this is an example I'm using as the, uh, a resource to solve to solve the problem that we were having with the uh, HTML limit uh, limited uh, variable so we're printing that long variable to the screen the raw data uh, so there is no problem doing it this way you can capture the data from uh, you can fetch this this information from a MySQL server without the need of modifying the uh, the Apache server now of course I wanna I wanna print the image to the screen instead of just the raw data like this so I'm going to insert HTML code and let me just call it EMC because that's the uh, that's what's inside that raw data there I'm gonna give the uh, width um, 400 so it's a good size right also 400 okay so what this statement does is uh, it's holding the value for for an image it's an HTML statement so if I save this and refresh the page you see it's trying to print an image but there is no value as the source there's no value to print that image so there's nothing to print so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna get this value now and place it inside the image box so it, it should work so first I want to stop from printing the the raw data you don't need this anymore that was just used for an example so it's not printing the raw data just the, uh, the image box now if I get this raw data I think it's gonna take too long if I do it here so I'll just capture from here again and place it inside the source we do one thing here to make the code easier to understand <coughs> so this is what's happening now this is the value of the image uh, PHP variable I'm using HTML here to print uh, that value here so uh, if I do this it prints the image here 
right so this is the raw data that raw data there being printed here so uh, an even easier way to do this and more uh, organized I would say is if you call just the variable the PHP variable inside here so since this is a PHP variable and this is a HTML statement I need to get the PHP variable so I'm gonna say echo so print print image so <coughs> now uh, I don't need to place all of this data inside here so if I save and I refresh it has the same effect so uh, I hope you understand what I'm what I'm trying to do here because this helped me solve the problem I was having by having to pass such long variables into HTML I could just simply use PHP to fetch these long results and set these results into a PHP variable and then use the variable anywhere in a page where I need it I hope this video helped it was just an idea I had when I was facing the problem and this is what I did to solve the problem Thank you for watching.